Lemongrass has been used for ages in both the Mediterranean and Asia. But not only that, it's been used for spiritual cleansing, to get rid of jinxes, and to get rid of any and all of that negative energy. Just let it out. But I'm sure an astute viewer like yourself wants to learn about how lemongrass can help you with a variety of problems like stress and anxiety. While there isn't much of the precious research available, the Sloan Kettering Cancer Center believes that lemongrass tea can help with stress, anxiety, and infections too. And that leans us right into some studies that show us how lemongrass tea can boost your immunity and help fend off cancer as well. Another great benefit of lemongrass tea is backed up by a 2011 study which showed that lemongrass lowered cholesterol levels in mice. And this same study actually claimed that lemongrass tea can block your ability to sense pain. You'll often find blood pressure mentioned in tandem with cholesterol levels, just because high blood pressure, high cholesterol together, ooh, trouble! And according to a 2012 study, those who drank lemongrass tea had a nice and tidy drop in their heart rate and improved blood pressure as well. Lemongrass tea can also help your overall blood health and blood circulation, as a 2015 study showed that drinking lemongrass tea increased the formation of red blood cells, improved hemoglobin, and cell volume. Have a problem with Streptococcus sanguinis? Pfft, don't we all? One 2012 study shows that lemongrass can stop this little mean bacteria thanks to its antimicrobial properties. And another study in 2015 says that lemongrass can help with other types of bacteria as well. And besides stopping general bacteria problems, what this also means is that lemongrass tea can help your overall oral health as well as slow down things like tooth decay. Now, 2012 was actually a big year for lemongrass, as it had several studies done on it, one of which showed that lemongrass tea is a go-to remedy for a variety of digestive problems. Now, most people know about aspirin. If you're a smart cookie, you're probably one of them, and it's usually a big help, but sometimes it can cause problems with your stomach lining, which leads to gastric ulcers. But luckily, lemongrass can also help with this as well. And as it's a diuretic, lemongrass tea can also help with problems like bloating and edema, and even help with things like heart and liver failure. Kind of weird throwing all those together, but hey, there you are. We're doing this fast. Weight loss. Yes, it's always nice having something to help keep you at your premium weight. And according to a 2013 study, lemongrass increases metabolism and fat oxidation. Add this to its diuretic abilities and lemongrass tea can kickstart your ability to hurt your hamstring. Oh, I shouldn't have worked out so hard yesterday. To help move that metabolism up and drop some weight that you don't want like fat. Now, I mentioned bloating and cramps already, but according to a 2011 study, lemongrass tea can also help with UTIs and hot flashes. And its anti-inflammatory and calming properties means that it can help you with your menstrual flow and mood swings as well. On top of this, lemongrass can help with fungal infections that affects women and men. Now that we're feeling good, there's no reason we can't look good too. You sexy beast. Lemongrass tea helps promote overall skin health, anti-aging, and glowerific skin. Yep, that's a word I just made up. Because you're just that sexy. And a 2015 study suggests that in addition to strengthening your hair, lemongrass tea can even lessen dandruff within a week. Ah, that's it, right? There's no way lemongrass tea can do anything more, right? You are wrong! Creaky, creaky chair. Experts and anecdotal evidence suggest that lemongrass can not only help with all those usual respiratory problems, like colds and coughs and all that stuff, which I need right now because I've had one myself, but its cooling properties mean that it can also probably help you with fevers as well. All right, so that's everything. Now, how do we make it? Like most herbal teas, you can steep lemongrass at boiling for five to seven minutes. As it's more of a stalk, you can chop up one or two fresh stalks to put into a cup of lemongrass to put into a cup of tea. I did one in this one and it's just fine. Or you could use two or three dried teaspoons to a cup. Now this one is a nice, easy drinking tea. You can easily have it by itself. If you want, you could always add other things, add a little honey, but personally, I like it just by itself. You're good. Mm. I'm just gonna have lots of clips of me drinking this because it's so good. Now most people say to start with just one cup a day and go up from there if you need to. Um, just depends on how it affects you personally. Like anything, there's always some downsides. And while it's considered quite safe, overconsuming lemongrass tea can lead to any of these possible side effects. And if you happen to be allergic to it, itching and any of these problems could slow you down. If you're pregnant or if you have any of these things going on, it's suggested that you also be careful with the lemongrass tea. Want another winning tea? Watch this video next. Please be kind, take care of each other, and hopefully your next tea has some nice lemon grassy goodness to it.